Illinois politics and Illinois Congressman Joe Walsh stirring up controversy with comments about Islam and political correctness in government. Very controversial. We started talking about this last night. Dan Ponce is back with more today. Right, you know, you've seen Joe Walsh speak in person several times. Yeah. He's, he's a very passionate guy, especially when he's addressing his own supporters. And there seems to be this theme uh -huh. where he's addressing his supporters in a town hall setting and he says something that stirs up a lot of controversy. Well, this time he's accused the government of being too politically correct when it comes to Islam. His comments offended many in Chicago's Muslim community. CARE Chicago, Council on American Islamic Relations, held a news conference today specifically to address those comments. Walsh says he stands by his remarks and at the same time, it is wrong to call him a racist, he says. Addressing supporters in Elk Grove Village Wednesday night, Tea Party Republican Joe Walsh told supporters that the threat of radical Islam is right here in the Chicago area. He also blamed the government for the Fort Hood massacre. Your government was so afraid of doing its job, so afraid of offending Islam, that right in front of our noses, we saw what was happening in Fort Hood, and because your government was politically correct, his comments sparked outrage among many Chicago area religious leaders who held a news conference this morning at CARE Chicago headquarters to address the controversy. In his remarks, Congressman Joe Walsh made it abundantly clear where he stands. And now the time has come for all people of goodwill, of every faith tradition, to stand these kinds of ideas down and to say together that there is no place for this kind of hatred in public discourse. Some of the speakers say Walsh's comments represent a deeper problem within the Republican Party. There is a problem that has to be addressed. I don't know if they're trying to sound like the racist, bigoted, backward party or if it's just happening. But the leadership needs to step up and live up to the legacy of the great GOP of the past and know that America cannot move forward with hate and divisiveness, but with hope and inspiration. It's not an accident that you see such a diverse group of people standing here. We are all alarmed at what the GOP is doing to the social fabric of this country. Congressman Walsh says he stands by his controversial remarks. Look, we don't have time to be politically sensitive here. There are people around the world and in this country trying to kill Americans. That's a real threat. The administration knows it and Congress knows it. CARE should be concerned about that. And he says his comments were not racist. Most Muslims are wonderfully patriotic, loving, peaceful people. But there is a radical strain of Islam which is trying to hijack that religion. We also reached out to the Illinois Republican Party this afternoon for comments, still waiting for a callback. Joe Walsh is facing Tammy Duckworth for Illinois' 8th Congressional District. Lourdes. Okay, Dan. 25 years. That is how long it's been since Chicago teachers have gone on strike.